What if you could have your JotForm appointment filled two-way sync with your Outlook calendar? Well, let me show you how. Hey, JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly, and like I mentioned, now with JotForm appointments, you can now utilize the appointment field within JotForm and have it two-way sync with your Outlook account, and it is really simple. So. As you can see, I'm currently in a very simple form. It's called one-on-one -on -one meeting. We have a name field, an email field, and a topic field. And the topic field is just a short text field. And for this example, with the topic field, I'm going to want them to put in what do they want to talk about because we can actually pull that in with the appointment field. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose add an element and we're gonna bring in our appointment field right down here and we can click on our properties tab and we're gonna automatically populate into the availability tab. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over to the general so you can see there's some things here. We can change the field label if we want it to be something else other than appointment, we can do that here. We also wanna make sure to make this required if you want someone to choose a time. So going back to over to availability, we're gonna go ahead and choose our Outlook calendar and I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. Then at the top, if you have multiple calendars within your Outlook calendar, you'll want to choose that here. We want it to automatically create new events. The first thing is gonna be the event title. So as of right now, it is showing the form title as the main title, which is one-on-one -on -one meeting. But I want to know who the meeting is with just as I'm glancing at my calendar. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a space and I'm gonna pull from my form fields their name. We can also add the attendees by pulling their email. And for the event description, I want that topic to be in there so I know exactly what they want to talk about. Also, we can choose a meeting location if we want Skype, we can choose that. Or maybe we can pull in from certain fields or if we want it to be a certain place every single time, we can add that in as custom. We can go ahead and save. Next up, we have appointment slot duration. We have some pre-populated ones here, but if you have a very specific time, if you want it to be just 10 minutes or five minutes or 90 minutes, all you have to do is just click here and you can add in that time. I'm personally good with 60 minutes, so we'll leave that there. We also have intervals. So when do you want people to be able to book with you? Right now it's from nine to five, just on the weekdays, but maybe you want it to be just specific days. Maybe you just want it to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or maybe your time slots are only on the weekend. You can add that in and you can even add in additional ones. Maybe your time slots on the weekends is just from 12 to three. You can do that here. We also have the lunch time turned on. So if we want, we can make this noon to one is our lunch time. Next up is limits. So the first thing is going to be a start and end date. If you're only wanted to take appointments during a certain time frame, you can do that here. So maybe I only want to take time from the fourth through the 10th. So that way it's only going to populate. You can see it updating over here. It's only populating just that one week. We also have rolling days. Maybe we only want to offer appointments for the next 14 days or the next 30 days. You can do that here. We also have vacations and holidays. If you're going to be out of office or maybe you don't want to offer time on a specific holiday, all you have to do is just add that in there and you can add new dates as many as you'd like. We also have maximum appointments per day. So if you would prefer to not talk to a lot of people, you want to cap it, you can do that here. Or maybe you only want to offer one slot time slot per day. So if we put one in here, as soon as someone chooses one time slot, it's gonna automatically gray out on your calendar so that way no one else can book that time. And then we also have scheduling notice. As of right now, it's set for three hours. For me, I want at least 24 hours notice so that way I know who I'm talking with and what they're wanting to talk about so I personally can prepare. And then under advanced, we can offer to send reminder emails. We can turn this on and we can edit that reminder email. We can even add in additional reminder emails. And this email is completely customizable. If you would like to delete everything in here, you can absolutely do that and make it your own. But let's go ahead and go down. We also have our default time zone. It's gonna to automatically to default to your time zone. You can also lock the time zone. Leaving it off like this will allow your user to choose the best time in their time zone. So I suggest leaving that off. We can also edit the date format, which day of the week it starts on. And you can also choose between 24 hour or AM or PM. All right, we are good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and preview our form. 
And let's take a look at my Outlook calendar first. So here is the week that we are working with. We can see that I have appointments at 9, uh, at noon, and at 1.30. I also have an appointment on the 7th at 10 and the 9th at 2. So if we go ahead and scroll down, we can see on Monday, I didn't have anything on this Monday. But if we jump over to Tuesday, we see those two times blocked out. Wednesday, we also have that 10 o'clock blocked out. And then on Friday, I have that other one-on-one -on -one at two. So it's looking at my Outlook calendar to see what is available and then graying it out so that way no one else can take that time slot. So as long as your calendar is up to date, that is what JotForm is looking at. So if someone decides to cancel their appointment, that time slot will become available on your form. So let's go ahead and do a fill form. And we can scroll down and let's say we want it to be on Thursday and we'll choose the 4 p.m. slot. Let's do submit. All right, we can head back over to my Outlook calendar and I don't even have to refresh it. We can see it is right down here. So if I click on this one, we can see the topic right here is performance review. I can prepare for this. I have that enough time to prepare because I chose to have it more than 24 hours in advance. But it is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize the appointment field and two-way sync with Outlook, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.